Hey everyone, how's it going? Sorry, I've been MIA for a couple of weeks. Um, I had a family vacation. Last week, we spent about um, seven days in California, so was trying to disconnect from my phone and all that with the kids and the wife, but um, yeah. So I have another shoot tomorrow and it's a four camera live event thing. So I have uh, two static cameras, FS5, FS5s, and then I have two Sony FX3s in the middle. Kind of a weird package, but they wanted two gimbals and then one follow cam in the back of the room, which sounded kind of weird. Um, so we're, we're giving them the two gimbals for sure. But then I'm going to have two cameras in the back, one follow and then one like master wide. I think that's going to work better for them. Um, kind of sounded like they, they weren't too sure on what they were doing. So trying to help them out a little bit. And then I have um, two tripods in the middle. I have a gimbal um, here and then a bunch of batteries for camera um, and whatnot. I have someone else bringing an additional gimbal um, and then just a bunch of stingers and XLR and all that. So it's, it's a live event. They just wanted to capture it uh, for like social media purposes. So we're capturing the whole event, but it's not going to be like a multi multi cam switch or anything that's like streamed live or on iMag. It's just going to be capturing and then they're going to do the post on it later. So pretty easy gig as far as equipment. Um, and then I plan on just rolling up. I have two people, actually three people coming to help. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty big event. I think they said like 1500 people or something like that. So it's, it's in Little Rock. Um, so I'm going to leave my house tomorrow to get there by 11 at like maybe 10 o'clock here, uh, AM. And then I think the event goes from one to three. So give or take probably be done by four. Um, yeah, so it should be pretty straightforward. Just getting the van loaded. Now the goal with parking is going to be a little tricky. So trying to get everything on a cart so I can just park, unload, and then walk over to the conference. Um, I think it's at the convention center in Little Rock, but yeah. It's going to be a good one. I'll keep you guys posted as we go tomorrow. So here we are at the convention center. We're getting everything set up. Um, we arrived a few hours before the event just to make sure we had everything dialed in. This was definitely one of the weirder shoots that I've done. It was kind of awkward because they had a live production team there, but we were hired by the keynote speaker to capture his talk in a more interactive format. He wanted like lots of like creative shots with with gimbals and, and that sort of thing. We were also trying to capture the entirety of the event. So I was trying to get a XLR line out from um, the for audio from the soundboard with the production team that was already there for the live event. But they were kind of hard to work with. They did not really want to change anything on their end, which I totally understand. But we were trying to get an audio out so that way we could have audio into one of our cameras. But eventually they were able to set up a press box and then I was able to get a XLR out from there. And then um, we were good to go on audio. I just had my Zoom F6 uh, next to the press box and then was able to record audio that way. Being in Little Rock, there's always these types of gigs and jobs, just kind of like a lot of award ceremonies, a lot of um, conferences and that sort of thing. It's definitely not my favorite type of work, but at least it's something that I can fill up my schedule with and just kind of easy work that I don't really have to think about too much. Last minute, they did want to get some um, MOS. So we were able to 
have the gimbal camera follow a producer around and just pick up some uh, men on the street type interviews. So that was um, something we did after the event. Luckily, I had some wireless microphones that we were just able to use for this uh, specific reason. best part of the innovative cart DIT on the go <laughs> thanks so much for watching everyone I plan on having a little bit longer of a vlog next week I have four days out in Houston Texas on a job that should be pretty fun so I'll keep you guys posted on that